All right, we've got this pretty damn good collection of DVDs and we've got the opportunity to buy them all as well. So um, I've actually just gone through these cupboards behind and all of these DVDs were in there. There's a couple of other DVDs, just sort of some movies that I wasn't too interested in. But as you can see here, we've got some really good different TV shows and you'll notice that they're all kind of like BBC, which is a really good one to be finding. Um, so it's all different TV shows, as you can see here. I've looked them all out. I've put them into their, their groupings. The big one here that I might pay a little bit more on, though, is A Country Practice, The Early Years, Season 1 to 6. That, that is a really, really big Bolo DVD set to find. Um, it's not complete by any means. It was bought from Cash Converters for 39. Um, we'll, we'll pay a little bit more for that because that, that's a really good find. All right, we spent a bit of time going through the price points. Um, box sets are pretty much five bucks. Individual seasons are just a dollar, which is fantastic. Um, and then a country practice was the big one. And I've gone, I offered $30 and $30 was accepted for a country practice the early years. So that's, that's a great buy, I think, for 30 bucks. Um, we've ended up getting this entire collection for $410. So a pretty big buy considering I just did a private pick on the Sunshine Coast uh, in the last video. So you should go and check that one out if you haven't because that was a $620 spend. So in the space of just two days, I've spent $1,000 on stock. This is very different to what I used to do in the early days where it was just sort of little items at 100 bucks a day. We're talking big, big buys now, a couple of hundred each, but I think it's a really good way to go about it. I don't need to source for a little bit. Um, I'm happy to try and find these sort of private pick type scenarios. I'm gonna be trying to do a little bit more of it in the future. So if anyone is Queensland based or New South Wales based here in Australia, I'm happy to do a bit of a drive and make these bulk purchases a little bit more often. Really happy to get these ones home. We'll sell them off for some good money. How cool is that? What are their names? This is King and that's Jack. King and Jack. <laughs> It's not every day on the main road you get to see two horses. <laughs> Hello, King. How are you? How are you? You're beautiful. You didn't like the motorbike. <laughs> no, I bet. Oh, they're gorgeous. How cool were those horses? That's not something I get to see every single day, so that was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, just uh, a really cool buying opportunity that we're able to do there. It was only about an hour that I, was, I spent there. I didn't really comp, actually I, I didn't, I didn't comp anything. I just used my past experience of knowing what DVDs sell well. Uh, I did see a lot of Acorn Media. Acorn Media is a really good sort of um, brand to be looking for when it comes to DVDs. I saw a lot of BBC, which is what I knew that I was going for. So um, it meant that there wasn't a lot of quality control either. I wasn't checking for discs or, or you know, scratches on discs. Um, I was basically just trying to find the allotments of seasons for that TV show and, and group them together as you would have seen. Geez, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. We have got a lot of DVDs. That's just one tub. I've got about three tubs to work through, as you would have seen. So I'm accumulating a little bit of a death pile after a couple of really big bulk purchases. But uh, look, these DVDs, there is thousands of dollars in all of that, which is really exciting stuff. Um, but having said all of that, it's a new day today. I'm actually filming on another day and uh, we're gonna go out and do some thrifting. Reason why is because I've uh, caught up with a good mate of mine by the name of Casey and he's a freelance videographer and filmmaker and uh, he does many documentaries on people, cool stories and he's been watching this YouTube channel now for a little bit and he actually wants to do a documentary style video on me, on my story. So uh, last week I went over to his place and we actually filmed uh, a really kind of professional interview. It was really quite strange um, to sit there in a, a professional film kit um, and, uh, and basically just answer some questions that he had for me and then he needed to do some B-roll. Um, so he's coming out with me today and we're actually gonna film some B-roll of me just out in the thrift. So while I don't actually need too much stuff after all these bulk purchases, I do wanna help Casey out and get some great B-roll footage and hopefully find a few cool items as well. So let's head into the thrift and we'll see what we can find in there. So we're not seeing too much in here. I've just come across these though. There's some Nike Reacts. Not too bad of a shoe. You can clean them up and they'll actually do all right. They're, um, what are they there, $15? Yeah, 15 bucks are a men's uh, 10, but I'm just not a big fan of the, the wear on the soles there, as you can see. So for this reason, they're going back on the shelf. The other ones that I saw in here, oh, they were the footy boots. Oh, there is some gel Nimbus 18s. Um, so these gel Nimbus 18s are a good shoe. You want to be finding um, anything with that gel. See the gel on the bottom sole there? That means that it's just a good high-end shoe. Um, they would have been about 250 bucks brand new. But the, um, the wear, again, on these soles, they're just slightly worn, so gonna have to put them back. With the footy boots, if you could be finding IGS, so that IGS <laughs> is, um, is really good. IGS is great, it just means it's worth about 250. Um, 
but the wear on these is just a little bit worn. Didn't really like the wear on them. So 10 bucks, as much as they are a good shoe, condition is everything I had to pass. So just found these, they're the Nike Phantom Venom Club 8, I think they are. They're a men's US 8. Um, the condition obviously is excellent on these. So I don't exactly know how much they are, but they sell for 60 bucks. So I think if they go for 20 maybe in here, I'm gonna pick them up. Um, the price is they... a yeah, there was nothing, there was nothing on them. Oh. I was curious to know. Um, Cause I've grabbed them, but I just wasn't sure how much. Yeah. It, it, Do they get penned? Oh, there they uh, are. It's twenty dollars. So Casey, Casey loves his hats as well, and he's found a Billabong hat that he likes the look of. I like it too. That's an old is school look about it. it. it does, it does. Too big of a head. You do have a big head. I will say that. No, you don't. Um, but there's all these hats up here that Casey likes to look of. I've got to say, I'm more of a, uh, I'm more of, as you can see on my head at, at the moment, I'm more of a baseball hat sort of a man. But uh, you got furniture? Have you got any DVDs? Oh, where's, there. how do you get there? Out there? How do I get you there? You can go out, but if you want it, I'll oh, can you go you through? Yeah, yes. go through. Wow, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Pretty stoked with that little grab. It was only one item. We've got the Nikes and they are in excellent condition. So if you guys are, um, if you guys are in the Gold Coast, Lighthouse Op Shop here in Southport. Um, it's got a heap of stuff in here, but it goes all right. And I just spoke to the lady and she was lovely. So I wanted to promote her store. Um, there is another store through this little arcade area that we're going to go to as well once Casey's finished it. Here he is here. How'd you go? Yeah. You happy with it? I got two actually. You got two hats? Yeah. Well, that means you got to wear two hats at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we wear what we source. <laughs> uh, let's go to this arcade, which is only, a, I've, I've not been into this. This is an op shop that I, I come to this street maybe twice a week. And look at that, it's just down there. And uh, I didn't even know that there was a second op shop to this one that we were just in. And um, it's huge from the looks of it, it's massive. Yeah. So they said there's some DVDs, so we're gonna roll in and um, hopefully buy some stuff. I thought she was real. <laughs> Footballers' wives is okay. Probably not though. Probably pass on that. You do, you get a vibe, and the vibe in that store was that it was unfortunately a little bit picked out. So um, cool to have found another store. Didn't even know that was there, like I said. So. Had to go in and give it a go, but unfortunately nothing in there. So I think there's one more around the corner that we're going to jump into. And so far in three stores, I've just bought the uh, the shoes and Casey's just bought two hats. This isn't too bad. It's in pretty good condition. Final series, Brisbane Broncos 2015. Just six bucks on that one. It's a good tag on it too. NRL supporter, that's fine. And it's even got lighted up on the back as well. That's kind of cool. So yeah, six bucks. I think I might do that. We just got, we just got some mic issues. <laughs> in case he's sorting me out, so I can just pin that on me. Just pin that on there. Look at this. This is professional. This is absolutely. Look right. at the rig. Look at the rig on this guy. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the game is. We've just leveled up. We've leveled up. This isn't the audio that you're hearing, though. This is, this is the audio that Casey's putting on. All right. So we've just done probably five stores, and unfortunately. Uh, what have we got? How many items? Like five? Yeah. Five items? Six items? Yeah. Casey's got his hats. I got some shoes and a t-shirt. Uh, Casey does have some pretty cool b-roll footage that he can throw over his little interview that he's doing with me, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty slim out here. That's why I'm trying to do more of these private picks because uh, it has been tough in the op shops and the, the price point's been pretty high as well. So uh, more private picks, hopefully some cool stuff to come. But um, had to put this little run of op shops into this video today just to show you where things are at here on the Gold Coast. All right, guys, I've made it back home and uh, I did want to give you a bit of an update on this office space of mine, this garage. If you're new to the channel, uh, I've recently bought a new house and uh, this is my eBay office and it is working really well for me. Um, but if, if you've seen the videos before and you know the layout of the office, you'll know that this shelf here is new. Uh, I've just allocated this shelf uh, into the garage space to kind of complete it because uh, I found that this, it was a bit of a dead space by the garage door. I was even using the garage door um, for access. And then I thought for security reasons, it might be best to actually just put some shelving across and access through the front door of the house only. So I think that's a pretty smart move. I do need to get some security screens uh, for the window as well. So that'll be taking place over the next few weeks. But um, this shelf was actually up in the third bedroom. So I've just brought it downstairs and I've just allocated it with some stock here. 
Um, it means that the majority are good. Probably I would say 80% of my items are in this room. So it makes it very easy to pick when I make a sale. I don't have to run upstairs, but I've got an issue with the upstairs. Well, not an issue, but I've got some decisions to make uh, in the upstairs. So I'll go and show you that. So this room is now looking pretty bare. As you can see here, uh, I've got my winter stuff stored in the cupboard, which is fine. Uh, I've got a big bookshelf of DVDs there, just a heap of media uh, going in here. But I've got this entire room now, which is empty. There's nothing on that back wall there. Uh, I've just got some clothes on the floor. It's a small room, but there is a lot of space for some more stuff in here. I just don't know what it will be. Whether or not I'll make this a media wall and just put a heap of bookshelves along the wall there and, and fill it up with DVDs like I've got on this wall here. Um, but there, yeah, decisions to be made. I could even make this a YouTube room uh, as well. That's another thought. But um, let me know in the comments below, what do you think I should do with this third bedroom? All right, uh, a bit of an update on my eBay store to let you know how I'm going. We've got 17 items that we need to ship off tomorrow morning. I do my post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. And I did my post yesterday and already today, I'm up to 17 new postage items. So some really good sales have come through. I want to take you through just a couple in this video today. The first one are these two X-File characters, uh, Funko Pops. If you don't know about Funko, they're just collectible toys. You can get a lot of different movies, TV shows, actors, you name it, anyone famous out there generally is almost made into a Funko Pop collectible. So some are rarer than others. These two, pretty rare, 50 bucks each, $100 worth of sales. Uh, I got them off uh, a good mate of mine, Jalen, at the flea market. I paid five bucks each. So 10 into 100, a really, really sweet turnaround on those two there. Um, some other ones as well, we've got uh, Super Mario All-Stars on Nintendo, uh, on the Super Nintendo. So that was a really good little uh, flea market purchase that I made as well. We got a $37 sale price on that one there, and I would have paid about 15 bucks for it uh, in the flea. So it shouldn't uh, take too long to put that one into the post. It's literally just a bit of bubble wrap uh, and then put it into a satchel. That's probably how I'm gonna do that one there. Um, just make sure it is nice and secure. Uh, the other one as well, we found some Keen H2 Newport men's sandals, US eight and a half. Uh, we've got a $55 sale price. I wanted to put this into the video today because um, Keen is a really, really good brand of shoes if you're out there hunting down your shoes. So. Um, that was an awesome sale for 55 bucks. I think I would have paid about 10 to $15 for it in the thrift. Um, so that was a cool grab. And then a bit of a DVD sale as well that I like the look of that's come through. Um, a bit of Fry and Laurie, a DVD, the complete collection region four, um, sold that for $37.99 as well. So if you'll be finding your box sets, a bit like the British collection that I was able to pick up today as well, um, you're gonna go on to do incredibly well. That was a really quick sell through rate. Uh, on a bit of fry and lorry. So a couple of sales there, guys. There is another you know, 13 or so to take you through, but um, I'll make it short, sharp and sweet for the what's sold. And um, yeah, hopefully those can give you a few ideas there of, uh, of what to look for to sell on your own eBay store. Probably the only other thing to talk about, guys, is we do have a reseller meetup taking place in Melbourne on the 6th of August at the local tap house in St Kilda. We've got about 25 people RSVP'd for this event. It's going to be a fun one, just a relaxed, casual catch up. If you want to attend, let me know on Instagram at the Aussie Flipper. Uh, the other thing, as well, is we've got the 30% club up and running now. We've got a really cool group of people in there. Um, it's the diehards, the ones that stick around on this channel to the end of the video. Uh, I'm trying to reward you guys with a bit of extra content. There's going to be one extra video every single month in that club. And I'm also doing 20% off with a coupon uh, on my eBay store as well. So if you want to be a part of it, $4.99 every single month, you can cancel at any time, but hopefully you don't because hopefully there's a bit of value in there for you. Uh, thought I'd mention that as well. I've got a lot of DVDs to list up right behind me here, guys. But if you missed a huge private pick where I spent $600 and bought a whole heap of items, I'm going to leave that video for you right here. And it was one of the funnest videos to make as well. Uh, so go and check that one out. Appreciate you tuning into this one. We'll see you soon.